I'm Jennifer Vatz of Belladonna's Botanicals and welcome to my channel. Hi, today I want to talk about something I've noticed and I've been having a lot more, my, my, my recent spate of um, channeling and consultations and things of that nature, a lot of it seems to be uh, based on custom, c client requests to start with. I purchased a spell or ritual on Etsy dot dot dot. Now I don't want to diss, I use Etsy to sell my products, not dissing Etsy as a platform. I would just say buyer beware when it comes to buying spells and rituals on Etsy. Now I know some uh, personally, I know, I know plenty of practitioners um, that also offer their services on Etsy, you know, as well as their own website and other thing. And there are, there are people I work with all the time and I highly recommend them, but when it comes to purchasing spells or rituals, especially if you're new and don't know where to start, I would ask for recommendations from the community. There's plenty of Facebook groups and forums or friends in the community and things like that because I am seeing things that I'm like, because the question that these people, was this even done? I haven't seen any results. And I'm having to go in and figure out if, you know, this work was done and why it's not working. And in that, there's a couple things that have come up and I don't know uh, who the people were who were hired to do these things, but one really chafed my crawl, as the expression goes. And a client was told that, oh, um, these two particular entities don't wanna work with them because they don't have enough to offer. Hold on, let me find the Wow, that's 100% bullshit. Bull fucking shit. I work with dozens of different entities. And, you know, if you're in a, in a wheelchair, they're not going to be like, oh, well, you can't run, run five miles. I'm not working with you. Bullshit. Why would you tell a client that? That is absolute crap. And if you believe that, that's some dogmatic bullshit. You know? I work with tons of them. I'm like, I don't have to make an offering to them every single day just as a you know mindless routine thing because that becomes meaningless then. And not to poo-poo on other people's practices and what they believe or do, but you know, that's just, that's just ableist crap. Like, okay, I don't have, you know, I do, what, what I do in offerings is different. Some, some of them are even just like, I've asked them, I'm like, what can I do in return for, you know, working with you? And, you know, most of them are just kind of like, Wah. you know, a lot of times when we're doing those things, we're doing them for ourselves anyways. It's not like if I don't leave Luc Lucifer or Rose, he's about like, well, piss off on you, bitch. Um, no. I do things. I mean, I work with Lucifer probably more often than most other entities, but, and I have an altar and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I'll buy things here and there, but you know, it's not like, oh, I don't have, I can't make an offering of whatever. I don't have enough to give to Lucifer. So Lucifer doesn't want to work with me. Really? That makes absolutely no sense to me because if you don't have the means, I mean, you can practice magic with anything. You don't need to have all these fancy pants ritual things it's nice. It's a great bell and whistle. I mean, I like using a lot of this stuff, but you know, if I had to use a spork and, you know, some olive oil to do magic, you can do that. Magic goes back to, you know, when we didn't have all these, you know, commodities and things like that. I mean, if you wanted to, you know, go pick, you know, a, a flower off the street and, and offer that to Lucifer, that's enough. Sometimes, I mean, when I work with Lucifer or whatever, it's my self-work. My offering to Lucifer is my own self-love and acceptance as something that he has taught me. And that's something that is my offering. You have to develop a relationship with these entities. And someone telling you that, oh, you don't have enough to offer? Absolute 100% F you bullshit. And I would never tell a client that. Like, you got to do what's in, within your means, you know, if, if you don't, ha you know, if you're trying to make more money, you know, building an altar of gold doesn't make sense to work with, an, with a wealth e demon or whatever, you know, you offer what you can, whether that's, you know, 
a, a crystal, a candle, or just something you're doing for your, you know, like shadow work, or well, I do that a lot with Belial, you know, becoming a better person, you know, doing these things. Um, yeah, for me, a lot of what my offerings are, are the products I create and, 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 you know, sell to other people and things like that. That has become, you know, the way that I make offerings. Um, it's not to say I don't do, occasionally I do blood offerings. I, and side note on blood offerings, use your little finger pricker from the drugstore, the diabetic lancet. Yes, prick your thumb, and that's, there you go. You can meditate, you can burn sigils. You know, you don't have to do elaborate and expensive things that are beyond your cap your means. And anyone telling you otherwise is full of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's... If you have the means to do those things, great. If you don't, you know, don't struggle to put food on your table to buy a $40 candle. Feed yourself. That is the living. That is the offering <laughs> you need to be giving. So sorry to be up on my soapbox about this, but that was something that really just irritated me this past week was hearing someone relay that information. I was just like, what? 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 And the other thing I want to talk about too here is magical guarantees. I'm sorry, you cannot give a 100% guarantee on magic. And I, I, I am upfront with my clients on that. You know, I do all types of rituals. I've seen things manifest within half a fucking hour. I've seen it take months or longer. It depends. Yes, you, you want instant results and things like that. But sometimes you got to do the work to it. It's kind of, you know, it's sort of like, oh, you know, going on some fad diet, you're like wanting to lose weight, but sitting on the couch eating a gallon of ice cream every day and not exercising or eating well. I'm like, well, you're not going to lose any weight, you know. I can do a weight loss spell for you, but if you're still sitting on the couch eating a bucket of ice cream every day, it's probably not going to work, you know. <laughs> not to state the obvious here, but, you know, well, you have to be realistic. And it, I know that sounds stupid, working in the world of magic, but you have to be realistic in what your expectations are and, and how these things will manifest. And yeah, sometimes it can be fast and sometimes you got to do a fuck ton of work to get there. And, you know, if you want to, you know, if I want to be like, I want to double my, my business income every month. Okay, well, you know what? In order to double my business revenue, I'm going to have to do a lot more work to do that as well. You know, I'm going to have to do more marketing. I'm going to have to step up production. I'm going to have to step up making new releases and collaborations and things like that. It's going to take work on my part. That money's not just going to show up on my front porch. So, you know, it, it's, it's, we have to do our mundane things as well to get things to manifest. It's sort of like if you do a love spell on someone and you do nothing to get, you know, it's like, oh, I hope this person calls me. And they don't call you. I'm like, well, have you seen this person at all anywhere? Why would they just call you out of nowhere? You know, or there's just the little things you have to do on the mundane side to kind of foster that happening. And people don't always realize that, but be that as it may, it takes work. It's not just a, you know, it's not this, it's, it's not Sabrina, it's not... You know, Harry Potter, whatever, you know, just woo -hoo, and and, you, and you've got your, your whatever, you know, it, it, it's, it takes, it does take work. It does. And sometimes spells and rituals don't work. I've had a fair amount of my own shit not work, or that I thought didn't work, but then I realized there was something holding me back in that. And sometimes we are our own worst enemies when it comes to doing that work, because it's like, I did this ritual, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Oh God, you know, maybe I did it wrong. Maybe, maybe I suck, you know, and, and why is it, maybe, uh, what did I do wrong? Why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? Well, that's why it's not working. You're changing the energy of it. So I try to go into the set it and forget it mode with that. Now, some things, if they're ongoing, like I will do ongoing money magic and wealth rituals, but I change them, you know, I do them different times. Sometimes I do them monthly or bi-monthly depending on, on situations and things like that. But again, it's something that set it and forget it. Like not sit there and go, oh, I did this wealth ritual last night. Why am I not a millionaire today? This obviously didn't work, you know. So 
that's just something to take into consideration. And again, when it comes to guaranteeing results, I'd be, you know, not like, ooh, if I hold this crystal in my hand, I'm impervious to physical harm. Yeah, let's put a gun to your head and test that theory. Yeah, you don't want to do that? You don't, you don't believe that this crystal's going to protect you from getting shot? Hmm. Why is that? Because you're giving a false promise of something. And magic is real. We're able to do these things, but we got to be realistic about it in, in some sense and grounded in what we can and cannot do. This crystal is not going to save me from... You know, someone put holding a bullet to my head. If it does, well, fuck yeah, Crystal. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I think it's a pink tourmaline. So, yeah, I mean, whatever. Um, so, be careful, especially if you're just window shopping services. Um, and especially if you're on Etsy and things like that. I mean, reviews are great and all. Um, I prefer... I mean, I work with a lot of different magical practitioners and things like that because I can't do it all myself and there's some areas that I'm not great at. Um, or, you know, I just like, I like working with other people. Like, you know, yes, I can do self-reiki on myself, but sometimes it's nice just to have do reiki on, someone else do that on you or different techniques of it um, or, or different kinds of energy work or tarot readings or, you know, monthly rituals and uh, or, or different just different things. It's nice to experience that. Um, but again, you know, it's, I tend to go with, okay, well, who would I recommend for, or, you know, looking at, you know, who I know in the community, you know, asking recommendations, hey, have you worked with this person before? Or see who other people are recommending um, and things like that for different rituals and spells and, and services and things like that. So, not to poo poo anyone who has their, their, their spells and ritual services on Etsy. That's great. I'm just saying, you know, be careful because not everyone on Etsy is legit. There are plenty of people who sell, you know, that have, you know, are selling copyrighted, you know, things. There's probably people that, you know, obviously sometimes they, they get shut down. There's probably people that sell pirated copies of books and things like that. So, you know, not everything is always, especially if you're on a platform like that, there are things that kind of slip under the radar. So just, you know, if you don't know, there are plenty of forums, plenty of groups on Facebook and things like that, that just ask someone, they'll give you a recommendation. And if you're like, oh, I went to this person, I didn't really like them, or it didn't really work, or, you know, this, that, or the other thing, you know, I can give you multiple, you know, recommendations for, okay, here's the people that I trust to do tar tarot readings with, here's the people I trust for this, you know. So, that information's out there. Um, anyways, I will get off my soapbox now, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.